you're with Dion at HD Piano, and you're listening to the smooth sounds of Holding Back the Years by Simply Red. to the verse. I'll stop doing my silly, smooth jazz radio voice now and say hi properly. Uh, My name is Dion and I'm going to show you through the intro and the verse sections of this classic slow jam. It's a really beautiful song and I'm really excited to teach you all the different parts to it. So we're going to start off by looking very quickly at the intro because the intro is a bit strange in this song. It doesn't really have much to do with the rest of the song. It never comes back around. So we'll go through it quickly, but I'm going to spend most of the time looking at the riff that makes up the verse in this song. So, intro time. We're going to be dealing a lot with four note chords here. The first four note chord is F, A, C and E. Now, if you are fairly new to the piano and you can't play four note chords easily, my tip for you in this song is to drop the second note in most of these chords. That way you'll end up with most of the information from the chord that you'll need. That's my hot tip. Try to drop the second note. If you can't stretch this far, then you might need to either drop the top note or drop the bottom note. I would probably drop the bottom note before I drop the top note personally. So have an experiment with that. Back to our four note chord, F, A, C and E is followed up by moving everything up a tone. We go to G, B, D, and F sharp. We're gonna move it up again to A, C, E, and G. So we've got those three four note chords in a row. And then we're gonna finish with two three note chords. The first one is A, C, and E. And the next one is G, B, and D. Now I haven't named these chords yet because sometimes they're not so obvious just with what the right hand is doing. And I'm just going to show you what I mean. Underneath this first chord, this F, A, C, E, if you're a music theory person, you're probably thinking, oh, I, Dion, that's an F major 7. And I would say it sure is, but we're going to play a D in the left hand, which turns it into a D minor 9. But you can think of it like an F major 7 on top of D. So the left hand's playing D. And it's going to drop down from D to A and then back up to D. As we move up to the next chord, we do the same thing with the left hand. Move it up one note. So now we have E, B, and back to E. As we move up to our next chord, left hand plays F, C, and F. Underneath our final two chords, we have A and G that follows the right hand root note. So these are regular A minor and G chords. Unlike our D minor 9, our E minor 9, our F major 9, A minor to G. Pretty boring at the end there. So we have that little passage through, which finishes off with a little bass run, which is G, G, A, C. Bum, 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 bum. So we're going to go that far with a count in. Now this song is pretty slow, it's only 86 beats per minute, so slow practice is gonna be kind of normal speed for this song. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four, and one, two. So those last two chords, the A minor G, are on beats 4 and 4 and 
And then our run up starts on beat three of the next bar, three and four E and a. All right, the second half of the intro is almost the same, but the chords change slightly. We're gonna bring in an F sharp instead of an F natural now. So now we have a D9 for our E minor chord. Don't worry about playing an F sharp anymore. It's now gonna become a G. So we have G, B, D, and G in the right hand. Our F major nine stays the same. And we still have an A minor and G, but we're gonna move up one inversion in the right hand. So that means we now have C, E, and A, and B, D, and G in that order. Let's do that last collection of chords. Two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. And from the start, two, three, four. So that is the intro. We're gonna head into the verse. The verse starts off in the right hand with the same four note chord we started the intro with. So we're gonna start on this chord in the right hand. We're gonna hold it for three beats. On beat four, we're gonna hit it one more time, but we're gonna shift it up two notes. Same shape, but up two notes. So that happens on beat four. And on beat four and, we're going to switch quickly to our G major chord that we finished our intro on. So I'll run through that with some counting for you. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four. If that was too fast for you, I'll do it even slower. Note in those last two chords, the top note, the G stays the same. The bottom two notes come up one, and you get rid of that note there. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, and four and one, two, three. On beat three and, we're gonna find that same four note chord that we just played before we played to the G. So we've got three and on beat four, down to G major in root position, and then land on our starting chord on four and. So that bar by itself, two and three and four and. Lots of movement there of not only your fingers and your hand, but also your whole body as you move down the piano. So let's go through that phase, that phrase, one time, right hand from the start. Two, three, four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. All right, the second time it comes around, instead of doing our four note A minus seven to G, we're gonna stay in this area, drop the top note and play from an F chord up to a G chord in the right hand. Same kind of rhythm though, on the four and one, two, three. And as we turn it around on our and four and, we now play an A minor chord. This time it's in the second inversion. So we have E at the bottom, A in the middle, C at the top. We're gonna drop it all down one white key down to a G major in second inversion. And then we're going to resolve that back up to an F shape, which is gonna then bring in with our D in the left hand to make it a D minor chord again, a D minor nine. So that's what we're gonna be doing on the and for and the second time around. Let's go through the second half of that riff. Two, three, four and. Uh, where are we? So we're on the and count. We've landed on the and. That's why I was confusing myself. Three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two, three and four and. Okay, so that's the right hand part for the main riff in this verse. Underneath that, the left hand is gonna play some bass notes. And our first left hand riff is walking up from D to A to D. So it starts together and then the left hand just pulses up there on the one and two. On the four and, underneath our A minor seven chord, we're gonna play an E in the left hand. 
and we're going to drop it down to G for our G chord. So that bar by itself, two, three, four. Left hand does nothing while we do this run down. Left hand comes back in on one and two. Same two notes, the E and the G, underneath our F and G chords in the right hand. Left hand gets out of the way as the right hand plays our second chord part. And then we kind of cycle back around to our first chord shape or our first chord run. And our second one. So we're repeating those two passages. Left hand is really much, pretty much always doing that same riff, playing an E and then a G. So we've got D, A, D, and then E, G. All right, let's get to that point with both hands together. Two, three, four. So we're about to finish off our verse phrase. When we land on this G chord, we're going to have some noodling around those last two chords. Sounds like this. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. So we're really going back and forth between that F and G on the four and the four end. And in between that, we're doing variations on arpeggiating the notes in the G chord. So in the first verse we have and that's how we wrap up the first verse. In slow motion we're landing on the G on beat one and left hand plays D on two and right hand plays G on beat four hands together left hand is D right hand is playing the F chord up to the G and then we do the same thing again on one and two and three four. Now each verse has a slightly different tail, a very different, uh, slightly different noodle in that kind of area. So pay attention in the whole song playthrough up later. I'll, sh I'll play you through everything specifically as it plays but this gives you the idea of, of what you do at the end of each uh, section of verse. All right so let's go all the way back to the intro, I'm going to play you through everything we've done from the start to the finish at the full speed of 86 beats per minute. Pretty slow, pretty easy, but slow it down even further if you need to. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Into the verse and And that's that. Great job so far on learning through part one. If you're on HD Piano, just click on the next lesson to continue. And if you're on YouTube, head over to hdpiano.com for the rest of the song. Do you have a request? Well, visit requests.hdpiano.com and follow us on your favorite socials at HD Piano. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe and give us feedback in the comments. My name is Dion and you're at HD Piano, the home of the hybrid piano lesson.